Yeah. This is a major radical change, but yeah. if you're ready for it, Ooh, tell me if that's wow. better already. Sunlight. Yes. W what I about feel that? like a and whole that. new world has opened up to me. What is going on guys, Unite the Clans here, back in your life from Log Cabin number three. And it's getting dark, but um, I'm here checking out this build, and a lot of you have now seen this. Uh, many thousands of you, lots of support and love on this design, so thank you for that. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's going to pop up in the cards right now, and it'll pop up towards the end of the video. But um, I did not do an interior. It was like a 30-minute step-by-step tutorial. Uh, and I asked you guys if you really wanted to see an interior, because they're hard to do, hard to get inspired for, uh, to tell me. And the one guy who, who said it in the comments got like 46 thumbs up on his comment, which is a lot, I think. 46 likes. A lot of my friends would be happy to have that many on the video. And this guy's comment got it. Uh, and... Um, uh, so we want to see an interior, so uh, we will be doing that today. Take a look at the inside. Uh, completely vanilla, we did it step by step, and I did not do this interior. There's room for a little greenhouse, room for a bedroom loft, and I'm going to be decorating it with you here today. I'm not going to be doing it alone, though. I'm going to bring some backup, because interiors are hard to be unique and to get looking good. So, I am bringing in another skillful arc builder, my friend SW Chris. And uh, I can put away this GPS, by the way, just in case you wanted to see those coordinates. But yeah, SW Chris is the first, I think the first guy, one, well, one of the first two guys with a bigger audience than me, more subscribers and viewers than me, to be willing to record with me uh, a year and a bit ago. And uh, I am a big fan of Chris's, and he has recently gotten into arc building. Um, he saw this channel growing with arc building and I seem to be having a lot of fun doing it and I think he's gotten into that as well he has some amazing step-by-step -step tutorials his name is going to be popping up in the cards right now go click it go check out his channel if you like this one you're going to like his but he is going to come here today to building evolved where we did this uh, tutorial and he's going to help me decorate the interior so I will go get together with my old friend SW Chris and when we come back we will be decorating log cabin 3 from the inside out did you have any questions about the place, thoughts about the place, what you might have done differently? Uh, oh, what would I have done differently? Or any, or or curious about why I did certain things certain ways? This one. Well, was, I was curious about why yeah. you were going to do the uh, the glass ceiling in the, like the second floor down there. Okay. Oh, uh, right. So, and I probably should have made that in like the episode video title, but. It has built-in greenhouse was my idea is that mm -hmm. like in a super minuscule place you could jam a few crop plots have the basics now like if we're going to do that today we'll have to do some plumbing and stuff but that's definitely uh -huh. i had thought greenhouse because there's doors and there's ceilings there it doesn't work super good as like just a window yeah no that sounds great i, I really think that'll be perfect well, and it was Log Cabin 3. The first two were like, each time I did a Log Cabin, it's like, this is the most popular video I have. So <laughs> I, when I got to this one, I was like, there's a lot of pressure to make this not suck. So it's hopefully like it doesn't. Tree houses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, once there's, once people like something and they're going, hey, how come you do more of this? That, yep, that adds yep. the pressure. For right. sure. For sure. Um, should we, should we just parachute down there? I feel like I've yeah. got a good view of Let's this. Let's go ahead and jump. Are you, how are your parachutes? Geronimo. Skills? Uh, okay, I guess. Help, I'm floating out to sea. Yep, oh, no, no, I'm not looking. Cut. Look, cut. Remember to look back the direction you want to go. You should yeah, be fine. Yeah. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Gonna have to cheat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you haven't been parachuting much lately, man, the, the skills, they, they don't oh, stay my sharp. Goodness. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go inside. I have uh, okay. kept it really simple. This yep. is like a little deck. It's only this is the only way you get onto and off of it. Okay, um, so doing... which we could change. We could actually figure out a way to put a door here if we wanted to. Okay. Um. So let's keep that in mind for once we get inside because that's an idea right. I hadn't thought of. And then we got a an door. entrance here. Oh, I never painted right. that door. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What a shame. What if, what if there was a? What if we found a way to put a door up here that would let you out onto that? Oh yeah, no, this would be perfect for a door. Yes, you can just um, put a door right here, like a small yeah. entryway and maybe a staircase. 
Yeah. That would solve that, that problem. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, Because we then, were talking about, we weren't really sure what we were going to do with that space, so. No. Yeah, it's like this place looks good from the outside, but it's a little funky yeah. on the inside. No, it's totally an open floor plan thing. Um, yep. I'm um, thinking, how if, realistic are you wanting to go with this place? If we were to make, I uh, just a thought, if we were to make some structural changes, mm-hmm. glass, 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 sunroom, uh-huh. and, and then, homes. I mean, there's a, look at this view that's out there. Yeah, fantastic. Well, that is that is a view for sure. So maybe that's a potential design change. You you were going to do a sunroom. I was thinking maybe a lounge type of area, almost a living room. So maybe okay. we could do something like that. Could you, could you imagine combining a little greenhouse glass, a little vanilla greenhouse glass mm-hmm. with, yeah, if that totally. can work? Because I think we need we need a view to the the waterfalls here. You need to see this. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And here, come up here. I think there's a view from the very top. So the up Bronto here, we'll... swimming in the morning are amazing. <laughs> we'll come down here one. In, in one sec, and I'll we'll try yeah. out some crop plots. But this is basically the only view you have out right now. Oh yeah. It's, so uh, I mean, it's fine. Yeah. And I would imagine you'd put a bed up here. We'll figure that out maybe towards the end. Yeah. Once we've got all the other important stuff in. But yeah, I think yeah, take advantage of that view, and maybe we'll do it. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to try uh, messing around with some crop plots and some plumbing here? Sure. Let's try it out. Uh, I will take this down, but do you want to try putting a crop? I can't say that word. Cro- medium crop plot blueprint. <laughs> yeah, I can't crop even say prot. it. Medium do you want to try putting blueprint. one in there and we'll see how they fit? I how think about I that? I some too. Does that look good? Oh, yeah. And you want to see something cool. Uh, but yeah, oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just that you can see through them. Never mind. You maybe the sunlight them. didn't shine through. But yes, that's it. So you could do uh, you could do a cool. It's basically like a two way mirror. Okay. We could yeah. see through one way. There might be a neat way to take <laughs> advantage of that. I don't know, but it's nice. It means we still get the sunlight right here. Yes. Even if yeah, it doesn't a little look bit like anyway. It. Yeah. All right. So okay. uh, maybe cut away. Maybe we play around with some plumbing and so, uh, getting some crops actually growing up there. Um, Let's do and it. Come back to it. Okay, it does look... Why so gray? Yeah, it's it's like it's threatening to rain, but it hasn't rained. It's really weird. No, but it's been <laughs> like... You're right. It's been this way for too long. It's ridiculous. Yeah. No rain, just clouds. Okay, well, we have work to do indoors, I suppose. Yeah. If, uh, if it does rain, we might as well be in there. <laughs> um, okay, so I... Uh, why don't we start with... The, the two things we decided I should grab are a way to seal up this. And I think I'll just do yeah. the wall... Do the, the wall the regular way so it doesn't stick through the roof in any weird way. Yep, yep. And it's too dark in here right now for yep. me. And um, it is kind of dark. Uh, we did get the crop plots in. If, yes, uh, right, right. You know, should probably the, mention that. Yes, correct. And the the rock carrots was the crop mm-hmm. of, <laughs> the crop of choice. Potatoes stick through the glass. The uh, savo root sticks through the glass. Whatever that's called. Yep. That's the potato. Anyway, they all stuck through the glass except this one and the berries, and this looked better than the berries. Yeah, so for sure. So that's in there. Plumbed in, functioning, growing, and then, ooh, okay. So I've put those up, like I said. And then somebody, when I, when I, so when I did the video, I said, tell us if you want to see an interior design. And if we do, uh, or if you do, let us know what you want to see. And some guy said, this needs to be a rope ladder. Um, okay, which makes it fun, you know. You gotta have climbable? a rope ladder in a log house. Yes, it, it is, is climbable. Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. Very nice. All right, so now we're up here. We're gonna work on, I guess, the loft is what we're calling it. Or yeah. What do, I'm calling do we want to get a little, maybe a couple of torches up here, and we'll light. All right, so we got a little light now on each level. I like that. That okay. works for me. All right. Let's I know do it's it. unusual to put on the inside it's, of a house. It's fire but... retardant log cabin. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean the whole place. The, I I can live. Cinders. I can live with that. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm I mean, look at the si- word. <laughs> look at the size of these flames. They're gonna light whatever's under or in the whole, whole place on fire. They're You're right. Move. You're right. It's a yeah. It's a game. Suspens- Don't think about sus- it. Suspension of disbelief. <laughs> All right. You have to and keep we have. Okay. So what uh, what to next? I was going to ask you about this. Yeah. This is a m- major radical change, but yeah. if you're ready for it, Ooh. tell me if that's wow. better already. Sunlight, yes. W- what I about that? I feel like a and whole that. new world has opened up to me. 
I think that's absolutely necessary change. I probably should have done this on the original, but this is a crazy, beautiful location. I'm building it. We built here. It is. Let me tell you. All right. Forty point one sixty nine. Yeah, sixty nine. Forty one sixty nine. There you go. Yeah, right there. Um, On Ragnarok, amazing waterfalls. But yeah, that was. I feel like that's necessary. And now, how does that change the feel of this main floor? It opens it up. I honestly think it does. It makes draws you to this back wall a little bit. Claustrophobic, and yeah, that that is now a focal point. Okay, cool. Well, maybe we maybe we take another detour. We mess around. What do you want to mess around with next? We've got yeah. a balcony, a little back deck, and we have an interior. So we'll okay. we'll figure out what to do next. Yeah, let's thing. do the balcony and the back deck, and then I, I cool. really want to mess around with this uh, this area that you just added windows to as well. Okay, so cool. Maybe we all right, do all like that at once. Yeah. All right. Well, all let's right. go get get a little bit of work done. We'll come right back and we'll show you what we're working on. <laughs> charge let's here show me why don't you take me inside show me what you did with the bedroom okay all right so we did a little more work on the upstairs do you want to see my addition before i see yours oh yeah all right you show me yours and then i'll show you mine okay watch this sorry i forgot about this but oh right you could just kind of walk right past this and not notice. A, li- a little little private. It's like yep. an outhouse, but not an outhouse. It's attached yeah, well, to the house. Let me say, oh, the door opens both ways. I can yep. still see you. Which yeah, means you I know. Me. It makes so, it a little uh, bit uncomfortable. <laughs> mind the gap. Okay. Yeah. But no, that's. I figure we have these useless little spaces. Might yeah. as well use them, right? <laughs> oh, and speaking of, did we show this yet? Did we this show end. what? This. Oh, the ramp? No, we did not show the ramp. Yeah, right. so we got a nice little ramp. We redid the entrance to the balcony. Which Way is better nice than the ladder, here. right? Yep, and we'll add chairs and stuff uh, in a few moments. But well, uh, in fact, you could add one now. Oh no, wait. Oh, let's okay. go check out. Let's go check out that bedroom first. Okay, it's like a bunch of squirrels here. Oh, a bunch of dogs. Me? Yeah, oh yes, I'm easily distracted. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, so yeah, I went ahead and. This area was just not doing it for me, so I went ahead and turned it no. into a reading nook. You made like two tiny changes, and I really like it. Yeah. So we got so, a reading nook up here. Yep. And then a small semi-private partition with a door, so that uh-huh. now you have a dedicated bedroom space that looks a lot more normal. Fantastic. Like, like it used to be like super long and thin, and now it's kind of pretty decent, I think. It's kind and... of a nice size. What? Just one sec. I want to try something real quick. Okay. Ah. Terrible. That kind of works. I didn't know Ragnarok had its own war map. It does now. Yeah. That's okay. That cool. doesn't quite. That doesn't quite work. No. But maybe somewhere. Maybe I just wanted to try that. Somewhere. All, All right. right. That is way better, dude. Couple couple yeah. of benches, little bookshelf. I can just picture myself sitting here reading. So uh, down here. We were going to probably work on this area. We did say we are going to work on the sunroom a bit, so let's kind of do that. Right. All right. Um, so, Got to take advantage of the view. Whatever's yes. here has to, be, has to be worthy of that. Or we could line them up in like a kind of a shape like this and line Ooh, this area yes. up around like that. Yep. And we could do I that. I that. Yeah, so maybe we maybe we try that. Oh, okay, man, that might be up. the answer here. Let me grab some benches. I will I will assist you without ruining it. Okay, I think or try. All right, so I'll I'll let you do Ooh. those. I was gonna say we're gonna it's gonna be a tight fit. It's gonna work for us because these clip into each other, but you oh, might not yeah. be able to fit three aclo- across here. Yeah, you might not be able to. That's tucked right. Yeah, in. that's a little. Did I mess it up? Diff- no, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. I'm just saying, oh no. Like it's for not people without straight. clipping enabled, they're not going to yeah. be able to do that. But you know, you just kind of improvise. That's what we're doing on the Man, fly. it's tough to get these straight. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I'm going to do a little thing over here. Don't turn oh, around, please. Okay. All right. And my best work yet. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I am. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm not prepared. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, yes, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay. 
Oh, um, and, and I'm seeing what you have in mind. Yeah, so we have like a dividing wall right here. I ran out of walls, so I can't I think, place that in. I think that's what you were... Oops, that's uh, not right. Yeah, you got to E-key it. Um, I wanted it to face this way. Yeah, so it, it looks a little more interesting, I think. I I think. Yep, I think I can Especially do it from like the that. front door. Um, okay. But yeah, so that, that kind of sits there, and that'll kind of hold that up. And it'll kind of yep. serve as a dividing wall between this part of the room and that part of the room. Okay. Um, and that does give you the opportunity to have a couple different spaces inside this yeah. room space. Yeah. Okay, so, cool. I mean, like, I was kind of thinking about maybe putting the kitchen right underneath this greenhouse area. Yeah, that does bit make some it. sense. Um, not encroaching into this air, this entrance area, but maybe coming up to it. Okay, cool. When you do a kitchen, do you usually mm -hmm. just do like that for your? Is that how you're doing your kitchen counters, or do you have another method? So in mind? that's kind of an idea, but I thought I think we need to do a couple different things to kind of keep it interesting. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, so I'm trying to find my storage boxes. And they're being difficult, not showing up. So okay, there we oh, go. Oh, you want? Okay. All right. So we've got uh, we've got this thing here. This ramp this kind of wall here uh, yep. i think we should go ahead oh we didn't get a refrigerator oh um, i'll grab one okay yeah if you grab one keep doing what you're doing i will go okay, find one put a fridge right there in the corner which you can't see yet because you're not in here yet but i'm oh, back wait, there you are okay here. awesome uh, we'll have to do the ele the electronics the electricity the wiring shortly later but oh yeah 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 totally. do you want this wall to be stone this bottom uh, one yeah, make the bottom one stone, please. Okay, I think I can probably do that. Okay, so I'm trying to find the pillar, or what What was that? What's that, a fridge? It's That's right not there. right. Yes, I dropped a fridge for you. Thank you. All right, so did I get that? Nope. This clipping thing makes it harder to place items. Get the eye for it. This is, hey, this is a tutorial. People are going to do their own their own yeah. thing anyway. It okay, doesn't there have we to go. be perfect. So... <laughs> I'm not going to be living in here. Yeah, that That's pretty, pretty good. good, I think. And then, uh, yeah. Talk right in. And there. then, you know, I want my kitchens to be functional, so we're not just putting tables in. Um, I think we should do maybe a kind of a chemistry bench. Oh yeah. Right here. Yes, I've seen, you've done this as your as your. I counter, have. I've done these before. Right? Kind of my favorite thing to do. Um, so that's. Eh, I don't know about that placement. Maybe we'll play around with that off camera. But you know, that's kind of the idea: is you have yeah. a chemistry bench. Uh, so that you can mix your chemicals and things. Um, but it looks like a kitchen top counter. Yep. And you can have, the awesome thing is you can have more than one. So uh, let's just say if we need uh, some extra space, let's say maybe right here against this wall, put one in, say right there, perhaps, and then oh, line yeah. up another one right next to it. But that's going to encroach on the uh, uh, the refrigerator. Fridge. But no, I'm getting mm -hmm. your concept. I'm getting mm -hmm. the way that you're using these. So that, that's one idea. Okay. Um, another idea. Because, yeah, people are going to have this in their place anyway. So if you can use something like this or the smithy as, you know, so it actually has a decorative value yeah, to it exactly. too, right? Um, another idea I, I was thinking of is, um, let's see, do I, am I able to do all this that I want? Yes, I think I, I will be able to do this. Okay, so um, okay. let's get rid of this dividing wall. I'm, I'm going to put it back, but we're going to put it back a slightly different way. So, okay. I thought this would go in a different place, but I, I figure let's just put it here. So we've got these storage benches, and these are, these are pretty cool because um, you can go ahead and place them as uh, like uh, uh, countertops, but maybe ones you could okay. eat at. So you can do that, um, but we've right. also got... Uh, these kind of stone pillars and they're not wanting to snap to the corners. I'm used to S plus. So. Oh yeah. A uh, fence foundation we would have to oh, use. That's right. Silly me. Let I me got see some. here. Okay. I don't Good. All right. success. I do have pillars yeah. though, if you need. So them. let's get rid of this box. I just, it's in the way. Okay. So do a fence foundation there and a fence foundation there. And then let's do stone pillar here. Okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Silly arc. Okay, it's just gonna insist. This? Yes. And then like that. Okay, I think I deleted 
destroyed something on accident. Didn't mean to. I think I think I clicked at the same time as you, and that's gotcha, what happened. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so okay. Um, anyway, we put these pillars. In oh, and now thing, and now you can put in these, uh, like that. These things. Uh, actually, no. Leave that. Leave that open. I've got another idea. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm keeping UTC in the dark as much as you. you no, guys. do it, do it. I'm <laughs> I'm liking to watch somebody else's creative process. It's a nice break. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, so next is that fits it really neatly. Really does. It's really cool. Um, yeah. Let's see. Now I wonder if this would work. It's not working. If it's not letting me um, do what I want, but do you want to place? Yeah. Maybe if I do this temporarily, can I put a, yes, I can. Okay. So what I was wanting to do is I was wanting to put catwalks right across here just so okay. they just kind of serve as shelves. So I'm kind of hoping if once I destroy this, uh, this wall that the pillars will hold them up. So we're going to, we're going to do a live demonstration here or demolishment. It was a live demolishment. Okay, so anyway, yeah. we were wanting to put catwalks there. So I think what I'm going to do is cut away and try to fit, find out a way to make that work. Yes. And then we'll come back, well, right? Well, yes. There is a way to make okay. it work, for sure. Yeah, because I know um, I've done it before. Okay. Because if you did this, mm -hmm. but I can get it to do that. Hmm. Just for Let's a sec. See. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of the same thing that I did, but maybe it'll stick to the bottom of the ceiling. Aha! Maybe. Nope. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I mean, that kind of works. Yeah. It's not, not ideal. No, it kind of works. It kinda... It's not what I was going for, but it works. I mean, it looks pretty decent. It, it still divides the room. But it also lets you see through it. And it feels like, you know, a lot of kitchens are like this, where you can look through into the, you know, the dining area or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, I could, I could live with that for okay. sure. Let's, um, do you mind if, uh, like, we have no? some uh, catwalks sticking out of the side of your house? Give it a try. <laughs> no, no, for sure. I, I got try some, that. I got some horrific looking plumbing going on out there right now, so we okay. can get these crops in place. So, so I put a catwalk right there. Uh, let's see if we can get a chair to kind of do its thing for us. Uh, you kind of have to rotate it. Uh, looks <laughs> like you'll have to have server clipping on to do this. Right. So that's a thing that's changed in Arc recently, guys. They just did did some tweaks for the boats, but basically, they changed it now. So some of the things you used to be able to do, you you can't. And so we've enabled clipping. Which means we're going to be able to do some things you might not be able to do here on yeah. the server. But um, it basically allows that chair to be placed while it's intersecting with a wall, which it isn't even, actually. Yeah, it's, uh, it's shallow well, it's, enough it actually fits on there. I think it's going to be close enough in real world conditions that it, the hitbox is going to complain. Um, I think you're probably right, yeah. But yeah, you, you basically you can have four of these across. It's going to take me too long to do them all now. but uh, I see, yeah. But you, that, you get yeah, the idea. and that does kind of, I mean, it does kind of look like chairs on a shelf, but it kind of looks like shelves too. It kind of does. It just really depends on how you paint these things, which right. is kind of another way you can kind of offset uh, the right. same objects being used for different purposes. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know what? I see that because if you paint, because if you paint the, the, the seats of the chairs, mm -hmm. the same color as the, the catwalk, mm -hmm. then you're not going to notice the wood above it that blends in with the wood walls behind it quite the same way if there's a red li horizontal line and a red horizontal line right yeah interesting and then if you paint the chairs that are going to be used as chairs as a completely different color um that also it gives you a visual takes your cue. mind off of it okay yeah exactly right so yeah so we can paint these like let's say cantaloupe or something and then up here we can paint these kind of more of the uh the lighter yeah, or tan color. and brown or something, and then yeah, they don't, what, don't quite blend in the same way. However you want it to work. Same okay. thing with, like, benches and coffee tables. Uh, you know, normally you wouldn't be caught dead doing this because it just looks funky. But uh -huh. if you put these together like this and you paint these, this coffee table, the same colors you're going to paint, like, these storage boxes or all your other furniture that's not 
the stuff you sit on, then that gives you a context clue that that's a coffee table, not a bench. I once here, let's, I have a perfect spot for it. Follow me out here. I forgot about this. Okay. So I did this a while back, but, uh, and we can try it, but mm -hmm. you can do something neat where, oh, that's probably bad positioning. Ooh, so I, no, I made, I made, it looks horribly uncomfortable. But the idea is that that's a lounge chair, so that you could <laughs> be you cool. could be sitting and putting your feet up. Yeah, uh, I like. And that. I had if you have a couple of these in a row, I think I had them set up like this before. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah like that. Yeah, I get I get the idea. Then it looks like you're just sunning out here, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we right. got some cool interior stuff going. I like chairs sure. along here. It's a little uh -huh. breakfast bar. Yeah. Come in here. You're cooking. Um, I mean we. We don't really have food cooking ability. Could we? We couldn't really squeeze one of those grills in here. They're ginormous. No, they're for restaurants for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, interesting. But yeah, this is, is there, a nice little log cabin. Yeah, man. Well, wh um, how, what's left? What do we need to do? Do we want to have a look around, see if we can see any finishing touches to put on here? Yeah, let's do a quick look around, do some finishing touches, maybe some painting and a little more uh, light, a little more paint. We'll get it looking perfect, and uh, and then we'll come back and, and show it off in its completion. Right. Yes. Yeah. All right, I think we're good, man. I say we dive in, take a look at this place. Okay. Oh, you broke up a little bit there. We're oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. How are we doing now? I think you're good. Yeah, it's okay, the, great. It happens. It's the robotic voice. All right. Robot, robot. Yes. Let's go back in. Um, okay. okay. I think we are done. You're pretty happy yeah. with it. I'm pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not go back. I didn't do any finishing touches on this room. I think it... Oh, do you want to do that? Nope. Nope. It's okay. good. It's a bathroom. Doesn't need much. Uh, All right. And then here, why don't you do the walk-in first? Okay. Show people. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the finished area. Feels we like changed. you're walking into a kitchen. Yes. It's it's very modern ish. Yeah, as modern as you can get with Arc. Well, we um, have both done kitchens. We've both done interiors. It's hard mm -hmm. with just these vanilla oh, pieces oops, to keep coming me. up with new ideas. But I like this one. I've never done anything yeah. that looks like this before. So two forges. We did side by side here. A little catwalk with. I mean, those would also be lighting on fire, I guess. Little storage boxes <laughs> up top. Although maybe not. We've got the water above us. So, it's a game. Try not to think yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The water from the uh, greenhouse would be fine. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Big storage containers, and then you got your, your high-tech stuff over here. Yes. Yeah. So it's very nice. Um, yeah. And then we've got the nice little uh, sitting area here with uh, benches and a coffee table, which we can probably put some reading. Get off. Oh. You're sitting on the furniture. That's true. Didn't yeah. your mama tell you not to climb on the furniture? Yeah. <laughs> Technically a coffee table, not a bench, so should not be yeah. sat on. Yeah, so we we distinguished it by color so that yeah. you can tell. Yeah, yeah. A uh, little bit of paint on all the things here. We've got sort of like a mm -hmm. breakfast nook type thing that you put in. A um, mm -hmm. little dining table. And we just mm -hmm. did a mix of brown and, and tangerine, which are some of the main yes. colors around here already. Uh, yep. Um, we hid, if we we showed it earlier, but we hid the entrance to the balcony up here. Oh yeah, yeah. And I didn't do much with this area, but we got a little got a little little sun deck out there, little place to relax, soak up the rays, and then yep. uh, up this little ladder. So this was an awkward little corner before. It's now sealed off, and the bathroom's hidden back there. Mm hmm. And now you come up here. I have done a lot of green paint. <laughs> a lot of green paint. It's yeah. very green. I like it, though. I feel like it needed this yeah. on the inside because it's got a lot of green on the outside. It needs a bold color, a bold accent, and yeah. this provides it. Well, and we already so, have it. I already had it up here, right? So it felt natural yeah. to continue it yeah, down below. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what yeah. I could do, I could do some brown because I've got brown here as well. So you could you could definitely yeah, even it out. Yeah, I, I, maybe, maybe the walls, you might want to do ground, brown but keep the yep. glass green. But, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. That would offset it a little. But and uh, yeah, I mean, we, it looks great. We've already shown off this bedroom, but let's have a peek up there. Okay. And, yep, we're still begging for better beds, Ark. <laughs> How many? We're two and a whatever years in, and we have this. We're about to hit retail release. We, we have, have bunk rags. bed and cot. Only two options. Give me a comfortable <laughs> bed. Give me like a normal adult bed. I would love that. Someday. 
someday. Yep. So no matter how nice you make your house look, you're still sleeping on a raggedy old cot that you can't even paint. <laughs> Yep, yeah, uh, yeah. And then you added little decks out here, which is needed. Yeah, I did. Because I just had yeah, the, doors opening up into nothingness. Yeah, the uh, they were just kind of floating. So but I thought, well, let's anchor them down. And you know what? It feels much more mm -hmm. necessary now because this used to be stone, right? This used to be a solid yeah. wall. Now it's mm -hmm. a sunroom. This feels like you're walking up to somebody's front door and going, yeah. hey, in. hello, anybody home? Pretty good. No, no one's home. Yeah. Let's go around front. But that's back. it. I'm pretty happy. I mean, uh, it's been a month since I built this thing a yeah. <laughs> decent number of people discovered it and a lot of people said when I asked do you want to see an interior tutorial said yes we do and I was intimidated to do it on my own so I thought let's give SW Chris a call and thank you to SW Chris for joining us for the Log Cabin 3 interior design tutorial this knife has a straight edge on it so it's very easy maybe in our world here there is no one better than Bob Ross to outro us, guys, and I did want to take a second and mention, it is getting harder and harder for me to find tutorials like this one that apply to everyone. The game is changing, and until there are some more changes, like say Structures Plus adopted across the board, it's getting to be hard for me to, to do tutorials. So don't expect to see a whole lot more like this, but expect to see a ton of ARC building on the channel this summer. I'm going to be doing Building Evolve, the Gaming Evolve server, Geeks Patreon. It's going to be great, so don't go anywhere. And if you're watching SW Chris for the first time, blow up his freaking channel, guys. Click on that picture of his face or go start watching this playlist right now uh, to get into his builds. And if you haven't seen it yet, this is log cabin number three. You can click to watch the original tutorial and a whole lot more like it. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm Unite the Clans, and I'll see you in the next video.